Welcome to My Therapy Files, the psychology podcast that's here to spice up your learning journey. So grab that cinnamon shaker and sprinkle that aromatic goodness absolutely everywhere, even in your morning coffee. Whether you're a student, trainee psychologist or therapist, get ready to dive into a world of captivating case studies that will ignite your curiosity and expand your understanding of the human mind. Psychology doesn't have to be all serious and stuffy, right? That's why we've created a podcast that combines knowledge with a chatty and conversational vibe. So buckle up and we'll take you on a wild ride through real and fictional scenarios, allowing you to analyse theories, unravel personalities and decode human actions in the most engaging way possible. We won't overwhelm you with complex jargon or technical terms. Our goal is to break down psychological concepts in a way that feels like a friendly chat among colleagues. So get ready for witty banter, relatable anecdotes and a sprinkle of humour to keep things light-hearted and enjoyable. So grab your headphones, kick back and join us as we dive into the intriguing world of psychology. Meet Emily, a stay-at-home mum who possesses a unique set of qualities and traits that make her an intriguing and complex individual. Emily is someone who prefers the calm and tranquility of her own company. She thrives in solitude and finds solace in spending time alone, indulging in her own thoughts and reflections. You'll often find her immersed in a good book or engrossed in her favourite hobbies, relishing the peace and quiet that comes with being an introvert. Now, Let's talk about Emily's confidence levels. While some individuals exude self-assurance, Emily struggles with her own self-belief. It's not uncommon for her to doubt her abilities and second-guess herself in various situations. This lack of confidence often leads her to seek validation from others, sometimes resorting to telling little white lies to gain sympathy and support from those around her. Interestingly, Emily finds a peculiar sense of enjoyment in the misfortune of others. It's not that she takes pleasure in their pain or suffering, but rather that she feels a sense of relief and comfort when she sees others facing challenges. It somehow reassures her that she is not alone in her struggles and provides her with a temporary respite from her own difficulties. Underneath it all, Emily battles with low self-esteem. She often feels unworthy and struggles to recognise her own value and worth. This inner struggle can be overwhelming at times, leading her to seek solace in the familiar and comforting embrace of food. Food becomes more than just sustenance for Emily. It becomes a source of comfort and emotional support, providing temporary relief from her emotional turmoil. Certainly, let's delve deeper into Emily's character and explore some scenarios that showcase her traits and provide further insight into her personality. Scenario one, the social gathering. Emily is invited to a social gathering with other parents from her children's school. As an introvert, she feels a mix of excitement and anxiety leading up to the event. She worries about engaging in small talk and fitting in with the other parents. In an attempt to gain sympathy and establish common ground, Emily exaggerates a recent parenting challenge she faced, hoping others will empathise and offer their support. Scenario 2. The online community. Faced with a lack of social interaction in her daily life, Emily turns to online communities for connection and companionship. She stumbles upon a forum where people share their personal struggles and challenges. Instead of simply empathising with others, she finds herself experiencing a strange sense of enjoyment when reading about their misfortunes. It's as if their difficulties momentarily alleviate her own internal turmoil. Scenario 3 the self-image. Emily often compares herself to other mums, feeling inadequate and unworthy in comparison. This constant self-comparison feeds into her low self-esteem and she begins to seek comfort in food. When she faces moments of stress or emotional distress, she turns to food as a source of solace, using it as a temporary escape from her insecurities and doubts. Scenario four, the journey to self-acceptance. Over time, Emily realises that her patterns of seeking sympathy, deriving pleasure from others' misfortune and using food as a comfort are not sustainable or healthy coping mechanisms. With the help of therapy and self-reflection, she embarks on a journey of self-acceptance and growth. Through introspection, she begins to build her confidence, challenge her negative self-perception and develop healthier ways to handle her emotions and seek support. 
In conclusion, Emily is an introverted stay-at-home mum who possesses a unique blend of qualities. Her quiet demeanour, lack of confidence, tendency to seek sympathy through lies, enjoyment in the misfortune of others, low self-esteem and reliance on food as a comfort all contribute to her complex personality. And that's a wrap, folks. But wait, before you go, I've got a special invitation just for you. Picture this. You sitting comfortably in your favourite spot, sipping a hot cup of coffee or tea if that's your thing and diving into the wonderful world of our members page. It's like stepping into a secret clubhouse where we spill all the beans and spill them with style. We've got all the finite details on each of these topics and trust me, every stone is unturned. Plus, we've got a plethora of resources waiting for you on our website. So what are you waiting for? Join us on our members page and join in on the discussion.